Today we're going to talk about loudness bias, one of the most important things in mastering. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is to not fully understand and properly deal with loudness bias. And it's a very common mistake. We have done it and most engineers we know have done it. Learning how to work around loudness bias is a super skill. But before we dive into that, let's start by listening to an example. We had it all, every moment was painted in gold, we were made, and the world was ours. I think we can all agree that it sounds very good already, but uh, there is a simple trick we can do here to make it sound even better. And we have done a new version with this trick, and this version is called A, the regular version is B. So let's have a listen. Untouchable souls, living life on the edge, no regrets, no control, dying oh so young. If you're like most people, you'll probably perceive version A as being more full sounding, having more bass, being more present, maybe a bit wider, more sparkling, more exciting. We can listen again. Maybe you have already figured out what's going on, especially if you're already aware of loudness bias and what that means. You probably noticed that apart from other differences, version A also sounds louder than version B. And in fact, <laughs> this is the whole trick. It's just louder, that's all it is. So it's an auditory illusion. And loudness bias has a lot to do with the Fletcher-Munson curves. They're also called the equal loudness contour. We perceive the level of various frequency areas differently, depending on how loud the sound is. We will perceive both the lows and the highs as being more powerful and present in a louder signal compared to a quieter signal. That is how our hearing works. There are two strategies for dealing with this that we think are the most effective ones. The first and most obvious strategy is to always use loudness matching when comparing things. The loudness matching can be done either by hand or by using some automated solution. The other strategy is to use unity gain whenever you work with a plugin or a hardware unit. Unity gain in this context means that, for example, the output gain of the plugin is adjusted so that there is no loudness difference when you switch between on and off. We have a few videos about both loudness matching and gain staging using unity gain. If you want to go deeper into this, you will find them in the description. That's it for this video, hope you found it helpful, we'll see you next time. Now